See, it says in verse 2, and she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of the sheep. This is verse 2 of Genesis 4. But Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of the flock and of the fat thereof. Now here's the thing. He's not bringing the firstlings of the flock alive. He's bringing them dead. That's why he's bringing their fat separately. Yeah. In order to separate their fat from them, they're going to lose their life. Okay, and God was the first one that killed a lamb anyway because he killed the lamb back in Genesis 3 in order to make Adam and Eve coats of skins, right? Which is not really a vegan approved clothing. Because you see, a true vegan would be a total hypocrite to wear leather shoes and a leather belt if they're going to supposedly not have any animal products, no milk, no cheese, no eggs, and oh, the poor mistreated animals and KentuckyFriedCruelty.com and all this stuff. <laughs> so then, you know, they're going to put on a belt and shoes. No, no, no. The true vegan won't even wear any animal textiles. No wool. Right? No leather. No. So... The first clothing that God ever made the Bible. I mean, when man and woman were just naked, they're just nude, right? The man and his wife, Adam and Eve, they were naked and they were not ashamed. As soon as they are caught in their sin, what do they do? They make some vegan clothing. Yeah. <laughs> the fig leaf apron. God says, that's not going to work. Yeah. Let me take you down to the leather store. You know, and get you some real clothes, all right? So he, then he makes them coats of skins. So God's clothing that he made was made out of animals. And you say, well, you know, that wasn't his original intent. Okay, so I guess let's just all walk around naked and eat salad. No, we're living under God's system here of the world post Garden of Eden. We got thrown out of the Garden of Eden, buddy. So put on the leather belt. Put on the leather shoe and, you know, pull up your pants and put on the belt. Amen? Amen. Nothing worse than this sagging your pants uh, style. Well, e eat up, buddy. Drink up. Now, let me ask you this. Milk I'm talking about tonight. Now, let me ask you this. Why was Abel keeping flocks... As a full-time job, a keeper of the sheep, was, it, was this just a hobby farm? I mean, look, Cain is a tiller of the ground. Why was Cain tilling the ground? Why? Why? He wants to do what? Eat. He's got to eat something, right? So he's tilling the ground in order to produce what? Food. What else can you produce from tilling the ground? Clothing. Food and clothing. These are the necessities of life that Cain is producing plant-based, right? Abel, on the other hand, is taking the opposite road in life. His clothing and his food is animal-based because he is a keeper of the sheep. That's what he does. So what does he eat? He eats milk, he eats cheese, he eats meat, and he wears an animal textile just like mom and dad with that first ever coat that was ever made of skins. Do you see the difference there between Cain and Abel? So Cain is truly the first vegan. Why? Because when God tells him that he needs to bring this animal sacrifice, he doesn't do it. Now, why didn't he do it? The Bible doesn't tell us why. Could it be because he just is too vegan? That he wants to bring an offering to the Lord of the fruits and the vegetables and the produce? of the ground, I don't know. But I will say this, Cain is vegan. 